Hey guys, I'm here with another experiment video and in this one I saw a fellow YouTuber recently do some work with some gel medium that had glitter suspended in it and I, I want to say it was pack or die. I'm not positive, it might have been somebody else. But they had some gel, it looked like go a golden gel medium with gold glitter suspended in it and it looked like it was something that they bought that way which is an interesting idea and uh, while I could probably research it and go find it and buy it I have some gel medium and I've got a bunch of glitter so why don't I just make some so I have this jar of extra heavy gel gloss and this one's actually almost empty so I thought I would take this one and scrape it down and then I thought I would take a bunch of my glitter I have in my stash different kinds and shapes of gold glitter these are nail glitter and nail what do you call these little beads um, I don't remember but little tiny beads there's a name for them. I can't think of it right now because, you know, I, we've already had that discussion about my memory. Um, so I have two of each of those. I'm going to dump them in. I'm just dump in the whole thing. And you get like, I don't remember how many of these little jars for a dollar at the dollar store. Like eight of them or ten of them or something. You can get either all glitter or all of the little beads. And they are a little challenging to get open sometimes. There we go. All right, but it's a cute way to get just small amounts of a bunch of different kinds of glitter to use in your art. And of course, I save the little bottles. You know I do. <laughs> then I have some Martha Stewart glitter. This is, um, what color is this? Lemon Drop. Dump a bunch of that in there. And then this one is Smoky Quartz. The Lemon Drop was kind of a large flaky glitter. The Smoky Quartz is more of a fine glitter. Fine to super fine. It's really, really small. And then this one is Florentine Gold. And then I found this one that's like a multicolored goldy bronze color. I don't know where I got this. The tag on it's really old. Save on drugs. That is a one really old tag. Looks like it was 19 cents. <laughs> uh, I probably inherited that from somebody because I don't think glitter's ever been 19 cents in my lifetime. This is a little bit of a gold multi, which I thought would be pretty. So now I'm just going to mix it up. And look at that. Isn't that pretty already? <laughs> How do you just not like sparkly things? <laughs> oh, I'm just using my palette knife and I'm just mixing it up. And I wouldn't do this with an entire jar of he um, extra heavy gel gloss because that's a lot of this medium with glitter in it that <laughs> you probably don't want that much of the same color and a little this this little bit's gonna go a really long way so I have this watercolor paper I was doing some watercolor experiments earlier on and I've got my punchinella so we're gonna use this as our experiment Oops. and the gloss gel dries clear that is pretty already, isn't it? All right, let's move the gel medium out of the way and put the lid back on it so it doesn't dry out. And let's dry this with the heat tool, shall we? And see what happens, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's not even necessarily dry all the way. As it dries some more, the gel medium will dry clear. But look at that, is that not pretty or what? Wouldn't that be a great accent to a um, Rolodex card or an art journal page or something. I love it. And I didn't spend any money to get it. I already had all the stuff. 
All right, I hope that gave you some ideas of something you can do to make some homemade, interesting mediums and embellishments for your artwork with what you already have. All right, have a great day, everybody. Go out and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you later.